Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, let's get on to the next stuff we're going to be doing in this uh, modeling series. So, in this video we're going to be doing quite a few things. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing, but we're just going to start somewhere and end wherever we can and move on to something else. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to be clearing my throat a lot because I have a, a healing sore throat. I had sore throat yesterday, that was why I couldn't post any videos, but... I'm healing from it and it's quite shallow today so uh, I might actually still be clearing my throat so sorry about that if any of that happened and sorry about the background noise it should be off I mean it should be down any second now so let's just get to work and start working on this so in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating this area here we're going to start by creating this piece down here so let's get to that and start working on it so let's move in here Let's grab this one. Before we actually do anything else, I forgot, I think we should solidify this piece now. This particular piece, you can see, it's not solidified yet. So let's add in a solidifier real quick, okay? So just add in a solidify modifier. And I don't remember the thickness we were using, but I think it was 0 0.0035. Yeah. Uh, so let's type in 0 0.0035. I think that was the thickness we were using. Let me get back to global view and let me take a look. Pretty sure that was the thickness we we're using. I'm gonna take that one and this one and let's go to local view and let's get a look. Is that thickness? Um let me see. Uh yeah, I think that's about it. So I think we can even view by selecting this one. Let's take a look at the solidify modifier. Does it have one? Yeah. Where is it? Haven't we solidified this? okay we applied it all right let's get out of that and let's take the fender instead we applied that one too oh yeah i think i know why we applied it so let's find one that still has the solidify modifier going on i think this one yeah so 0 0.0035 we were, we were right all along so just apply to it 0 0.0035 and let's see how that looks i think it looks great the bevel is going around that area very nicely just the way we want it to so yeah, let's move on to creating this area now. So I'm going to move down here. <coughs> Sorry. And I'm going to go into edit mode of this object. And here's what we're going to take. Uh, we're going to take the very first one, I think. Oh, let's leave the first one. Let's take the second third. And then, the, I mean the second third, and, uh, which will be the first, second, and third. Ignoring the first one. And then press Shift and ND to duplicate it. And press P to separate the selection. Now let's go in here. So what we're going to do is, I don't know, let's see how much solidify we use on this one. So I think 0 0.005. So that is the same amount we're going to be using on this. So let's type it in, 0 0.005. And we're going to be inverting the normal. So let's select everything and try pressing Shift and N. And yeah, that worked quite much. So I'm just going to, let me activate this for you guys real quick. So I'm just going to take this side. Let me move over here, this area. Let me just press period and zoom in over there. So I'm just going to take this one right here, this very piece below. Right here, let me go into wireframe. Let me see. Yeah, so this piece, I guess. You know, here's what I'm going to do, okay? So, um, let me just... You can see this is quite slanted right now. I want to keep it straight, although I don't know if it's a good idea. But yeah, I want to keep it straight. So here's what I want to do. I want to take all of this. Make sure this is the last element. So let's change the pivoting point to active element. Press S and Y and type in 0. So I want to do that for all the three. So this one is next. Make sure the one below is the active element. S and Y and type in 0. And finally this one. Make sure that one is the active element. S and Y and type in 0. So it should give us this nice thing we have going on here. So once you have done that, select everything. And let's move it forward a little bit to about here. I'm not so sure. Uh, it's not looking that great though. So, um, should we keep it that way, like the way it was slanted? You know, let's try keeping it that way instead. Okay, so let's undo everything back to where everything was slanted, like that. You know, I'm I'm gonna leave this one straightened like that on the back but I'm gonna leave the rest slanted so you can see what I mean by that and let me just add one 
at the back, press E and then F align with the back and pull it to the back like that. Very nicely. Alright, so with that done, what we're going to do into, is to go into wireframe. Let's take all of the ones below. Let's go into front view real quick. So what I'm going to do now is to press G. I'm going to move this down to about here. And I'm going to press E and then X and extrude this all the way to the center until it merges right in the center. Where's the center? Oh, we have clipping disabled. Let's enable clipping in the mirror modifier. So enable clipping. Let's pull this in till it merges right out of center. Like that. Which means clipping is disabled for this one as well. So let's enable it. Nice. <coughs> Sorry. So we're going to take this one now. Let's go back into edit mode. Let's go into wireframe. And I want to press Ctrl and R through here. Right click and then let's drag this all the way here. Press E. And then pull it all the way to this side. Like that. Let me just pull it in a little bit more. Or let me just pull this one here. I want to press Ctrl and R through the middle. And add one more in there like that. Alright, not bad, not bad. All that I'm going to do now is to take... Let me just take... Let me take this one, okay? Press Ctrl plus two times. And we're going to move this down in the Z-axis until it's seated on the on the front bumper. Like that. Alright, so that is good. Now we just have to fix this area. So I'm just going to go into edit mode. And here's how we're going to fix it, okay? So let's take all of this press G twice and pull it here. Take all of this press G twice and let's pull it back a little bit more. And let me see. So... I don't know. Let's take this one and pull it back a little bit more as well. So G twice and let's pull it back just a little bit more to about there. Now let's take this, let's press G twice, hold on control, pull it in point three, and then pull it up point three. And let's hope that helped. Alright, so it did. It did help a little bit. <coughs> Sorry. So we're gonna keep it like that. Now we're going to add in these stripes in the middle here for each and every single one of them. So let's go into front view. I think we have one here, we have another over here, and another over here. So we have three of them, probably about equal distance between them. So from here to here, except this side is slanted, so we might actually not. Uh, it's an equal distance, just this side is slanted. So we're going to take it one, two, three. We have equal distance between them like that. So let's get into front view and how are we going to do this? Let me see. Um, you know, first off, let me go into wireframe, alright? Let me pull these out just a little bit more. Like that. And let's drop this down to 0 0.004. Just to, you know, make things look a little bit much nicer in that area. And what we're going to do now is to add in those, uh, those uh, dividing uh, parts over there so let's how we're going to do this is let me just go into edit mode let me go into so i'm going to add in three loop cuts in the middle here all right like that and let me see so what i want to do is i want to take this one right here i want to press shift and nd to duplicate it and press hold up let me delete those duplication and let me get into front view we need three right so um I think, let me see, we need three of them in the middle, so uh, here's, let me see, I'm trying to figure this out, so we need like, one, let's see, this is two, I'm not so sure, one, we have one over here, and we have two over here, and we have the third one over here. The gap between these two will be quite big. So what I'm going to do is, you know, let's just take this one, all right? And let's press Shift and D to duplicate it. Press P and separate the selection. Now let's take that one, and let's extrude it in the x-axis like that. Let's remove the solidify modifier. And let's take everything, extrude it in the, press E, extrude it in the z-axis like that. And let me see, we're going to delete the faces here and the faces down here as well. So just get rid of those faces nicely like that. And let me see, I'm just going to wireframe 
Alright, let me take these two and then those two. I'm gonna press S and then Y and scale this out to about here. Alright, so with that done, let's go into front view real quick. Um, let me see. If I take all of this, press Shift and D in the X axis. So you can see we have one, two. We need a third one, press Shift and D in the X axis. I'm gonna move that to about. Alright, we need to move things around a little bit. So just press sh Ctrl Z until you get to this point, and let's pull this back to about this point. Press Shift and D, and then the X axis. Move it to here, Shift and D, and then the X axis. And let's move that to there. So that worked nicely. Let's take everything and let's pull it back to about here, like this. And what we're gonna do now is to get to side view. Let's get into side view, go into wireframe. And we're gonna select all of the vertices over here like this. And we're gonna pull it in a Y axis. I'm gonna pull it in a Y axis to about here. And let's get onto the side again, get into wireframe. And we're gonna select all of these ones. And we're gonna pull it in a Y axis all the way back to there. So I'm gonna click on object now and select shade smooth. And let's go into edit mode, select everything and press shift and N to recalculate the normals like nicely like that. So one final thing before we call this done, we're gonna go into um, edit mode and let me see. Here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take this and let's take all of these ones. Okay, press Shift and D and press P to separate the selection. Now let's go into this one and let's press. Let's go into edit mode. I'm gonna select this one right here and let me see. We don't have any in the middle, so we're gonna skip those ones and then go all the way to all the way to to the one that leads to the, yeah. So this one right here, and I'm gonna press Shift and then D, press P to separate the selection. Now I'm gonna take this one and then the one we duplicated here as well, and press Control and J to join them like that. So we're gonna remove the solidify modifier because we don't need that. And let's go into edit mode. So here's what we're gonna do for this side. I'm gonna take this one and then that one. Press S and Z and type in zero. No, hold on. Let's change the pivoting point to active element. Press S and Z and type in zero. Still doesn't fall on it. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's pull it up to there. And then let's take this. Let's hide everything else except these two. So let's press Ctrl and I and hide everything else. So let's get into front view now. Let's take this, let's go into edit mode. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these two, press Alt and M, and choose at last. I think it does work. Let's pull this forward a little bit like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. So take this and then that, Alt and M, choose at last. And I'm gonna pull this forward a little bit as well. All right, so that is looking quite good. Um. What I'm going to do now is to take these two, these two here, I'm going to pull it back to about here. I'm going to put two or three in the middle, pull this here, deselect these two, and then let's pull this in just a little bit more, like that. So with that done, what we're going to do now is to go in here, let me see, let me just delete this vertex, and let me delete this one as well. So I'm going to take all of this and press F. Let's take all of these from here to here, pull it in the x-axis, take these two, pull it in the z-axis, take all of these, pull it in the z-axis. Now let's select everything, press shift and E and type in 1, like that. Or we could just delete the, I don't know. Do we have subdivision surface going on? I think we do. So, um... Let me see, shift and E, let's remove that again. And I'm not so sure because I want this side to be rounded. So let's select all of these ones. Press shift and E and type in negative one. Doesn't work. So let's deselect these ones. And only these. So select only those four. Press shift and E and type in negative one. Still doesn't help. Let's take these three. Shift and E, negative one. Yeah, so that gives us that nice roundedness going on there. That was what I was looking to achieve. Very nice. So with that done, we're gonna do we're gonna continue this. First of all, let's go to the center. The center one over here. So let's go into edit mode. I'm gonna pull this in the z axis to here. 
and I'm gonna pull this let's go to front view so we can actually get this right so yeah you can see it moved just a little bit so I'm gonna move it down to there I want to take this and then that alt and M choose at last this and then that alt and M choose at last so I want to take those two now and I want to move it in a Y axis just a little bit take all of these four and press F like that alright so I'm going to take this two and then let me just pull it in the X axis to about there and finally you can see we have something small also over here so simple enough how I'm going to do that is to take all these four press it and then D in the X axis to there and we get to front view I'm going to move that to over here press S and then X scale this down a little bit I want to press shift and then D I want to press S and then X and type in negative one and I want to move this all the way to here now I want to take all of these, press space and type in bridge and select bridge edge loops like that. So I want to take both of these, press shift and E and type in 1. So we have everything going on nice like that. Let's take all of this and move it in just a little bit more. Alright, so press Alt and H to bring everything back and you can see what we have going on there. It looks really, really great. So I want to take everything, go into edit mode, select everything and press shift and N to recalculate the normals. I don't know if the normals are facing the right directions, but I think they are. So yeah, that is looking really, really good, pretty much. Yeah. So you can rename that whatever you want, but I'm just going to keep mine as is. And let me see. These two pretty much have the same thing. So I'm going to take this and then that and then press Ctrl and J to join them like that to make them one object alright so that finishes that area and that will actually end this video so we finished off the bottom side of this area I mean we finished all of this area now so all that we're going to do next is to <coughs> add in a uh, something behind this one to actually look like there's something behind it like we have in a reference image so it looks more realistic while we texture it so it's not going to be now it's just going to be something later at the end of the whole series which is pretty close so I'm gonna finish up on this video now and I'll see you guys in the next video where we will be creating these piece here or maybe the headlights or I don't know anything we might actually think of creating so I'll see you guys in the next video